Neuropathic pain is a complex chronic pain state that occurs when nerve fibers and pathways are damaged, dysfunctional, or injured. Neuropathic pain may result in symptoms such as burning, shooting sensation, or sensitivity to touch, even in the absence of painful stimuli. The dorsal root ganglion, or DRG, is a sensory neural structure in the epidural space that plays a critical role in the development and maintenance of chronic pain. It contains the primary sensory neurons that transmit sensations, such as pain and touch, from the body to the brain. In chronic pain states, cell bodies in the DRG become hyperexcitable, causing neurons to fire abnormally. Research has shown that electrical stimulation of the DRG can decrease cell excitability and modulate the sensation of pain. I've had a bad back since I'm 18 years old, and I've been told that I was born with something wrong, a malconstruction, let's say. I was born without a curve in my spine, and I've undergone six surgeries, six spinal fusions, trying to correct everything, but it, it doesn't correct it, and I've been in pain you know, my whole life. Today we have someone with chronic inguinal pain on the left hand side. So what we are going to do is put in a lead onto the L1 dorsal root ganglion. And what it is, is a traditional spinal cord stimulator placement will be directly onto the back of the dorsal columns. Now what that does is it takes care of regional types of pain, but not specific nerve roots. So the dorsal root ganglion stimulation, what we end up doing is we put it over to the side and out on the back side of the single nerve root. So we have much more control over which locations we're actually applying the electricity to. And oftentimes we're able to get blockage of the pain signal at a subsensory threshold. Subsensory threshold means that we are sending out electrical stimulation which neurophysiologically blocks the pain signal, but the client does not feel any type of sensation whatsoever. They don't feel pain. They don't feel us providing the electrical stimulation either. This procedure is supposed to, maybe on a long-term basis, correct for some of the pain. And what I've been doing for the last eight years that I've known, the doc Dr. Davis, is doing short-term corrections. Like every year I would come in for shots. And my last surgery was eight years ago. And uh, it works, but it's short term. This might give me the only long term relief that we've been able to find. Uh, we're doing a dorsal root ganglion stimulator insertion. That is supposed to take care of nerve root pain. Shot. Shoot. 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 Alright. I thought it was shoot. Good news is we got the L1 yeah. nerve root covered and we're hoping that a lot of her pain is going to be coming from that L1 source. Before the trial, my wife was just every day complaining on her leg pain it was just excruciating. So I have a great life. I have a fabulous family. I have nothing wrong. If I could just get rid of the pain, it's really chronic, terrible pain. Susan is our client that we did one of the first dorsal root ganglion stimulator implant trials in the country. She had T11, T12, and L1 dorsal root ganglion stimulator leads placed for a trial and it eliminated her pain that she'd been suffering with for over 10 years. The, the test was very, very successful and we're really looking forward to having the permanent uh, device implanted. Oftentimes when people have a chronic nerve injury, they will end up getting on opiate pain medications and then start with escalating doses as time will go because they'll build up a tolerance. I don't like to be medicated. I don't like the feeling. It's, it's, I like to be in control of my life. I'm a very busy person. I do a lot of charitable work. I do a lot of work in the community and you have to have your head on straight. Ever since I had the trial, I haven't had any pain. So when we talk about the 
pathway that pain travels to get to the brain. At the end of the day, pain is all a perception. It's all up in your head. A pain signal has to originate somewhere and then travel up the spinal cord and then get to the brain. Then you perceive that things hurt. Now sometimes you may get an injury to a limb, a leg, or an arm, but then you start having a short circuit. And so then the neural system starts to send its own pain signals. It's no longer necessarily originating from the original injured site, but it is short circuiting. And we call that complex regional pain syndrome. And that's another thing that the dorsal root ganglion stimulator can help with. In a couple of weeks, I will have the permanent stimulator implanted. And for me, it's a miracle because I refuse to raise the meds, the pain medication, because when I do, I can't think straight. So I am taking the bare minimum and it's not arresting the pain. And I really, my life was becoming very, very small because I couldn't do anything. And now I'll live a normal life again. This is really a miracle for me.